I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. <clears throat> so like the topic says today, no, it isn't a topic that I've gotten you and lured you to watch this video. We're actually going to learn how to strip, okay? There are health benefits of stripping. And now if you follow my instructions, all of us have homework tonight. We're going to learn how to strip tonight, okay? It's exercise, it's fun, there's going to be a lot of excitement while you strip. Some of you may have stripped before, some of you may not have stripped before, but I'm going to teach you how to strip. Okay, so are you ready with your paper, pen, instructions? You're in the instructions, homework for everyone. For those of you who don't want to strip, you can get off the call right now, okay? I'm not going to strip for you right now, for sure. Okay, so uh, the point of today's talk is, over the last couple of years, when we look at sick people all the time, people with diseases, people with immunity problems, you know, young kids in school who can't focus, who can't concentrate, young adults, who are getting into addiction of drugs and alcohol and all of these things. People who are unhappy, no matter what they have, they have this empty feeling in their heart. They have everything from money to relationships. Then we look at relationships. Why are relationships breaking around us so rapidly when we have so much? Okay, the thing that we need to start stripping off is our old mindsets and belief systems that no longer work for us. I can't tell you how many human beings out there and many times even ourselves, we realize that we are being driven and our behaviors are being dictated by a mindset which we have for the longest time that no longer serves us. We believe that that mindset is the right way. We believe that that belief is the right way. It's not our fault. It may have happened when we were children, through our upbringing, through what we watched on television, from our friend circles, the kind of friends you spent most of your time with. Our mindsets and our belief systems are formed. And a lot of us are not aware that many of these mindsets and these belief systems are highly limiting. When we have limiting mindsets and limiting beliefs, everything in our life is limited. From the abundance that we can manifest, to getting better from a disease, to growing in our careers, to you know, changing in our relationships and evolving in life. All of this is controlled when we are led by limiting beliefs and limiting results. I can't tell you, but most people are already the best versions of themselves. Most people are already the best versions of themselves. They have all the talent in them. They have all the potential. But the issue is they're being dragged down by their own limiting thoughts, by their own limiting beliefs. They can't see beyond what their minds, what their mindsets have become or what their beliefs are that are molded in them. Most people are the best versions of themselves. But like I said, they're dragged down by limiting beliefs. And I think great health starts off by stripping these beliefs and stripping these facades that we wear, which we think define us, but they don't really do it. It only becomes an exhausting, exhausting task to be someone who we're not and yet not feel accepted, yet not feel loved, yet not feel appreciated, and yet we deteriorate with our health. So that's the stripping exercise that all of us have to do. At some point in our life, we've got to revisit these mindsets and these beliefs and change. Yes, they can be changed. They can be changed. It's difficult, but it's not impossible. So over the last couple of years, I've picked up a couple of limiting beliefs and mindsets that I find in most of the people that we counsel with disease, without disease, unhappy people, people in depression, and I'm going to tell you some of them. There are many of them, but we're going to talk about a few of them. And then your homework tonight, when you strip, you're going to make a note of all the mindsets and beliefs that have contained you, that have limited your potential and your talent, that have silenced you from being who you want to be. And that's why you are stuck and you continue to be stuck where you are. So the number one thing, okay, we need to understand that our beliefs and our mindsets help us see the world. Like two people in a room, one person can look and say, wow, it's beautiful. The same person can look at the same world outside the window and say, it's horrible. Because your limiting beliefs and your mindset, mind, mindsets become the filters through which you see life. So you will see life through your filters, through your perception, which is founded by your beliefs and your mindsets. That's why everyone sees differently. Some people see happiness and simple joys and simple things. Some people only see it in material things. So you can't blame the person. What you see is through the filters of your mindsets and your beliefs. Some of these beliefs and mindsets could be fabulous. Some of them could be limiting. So let's look at the first one. I'm not good enough. I can't tell you how many people out there believe that they are not good enough. 
This is a very, very limiting mindset and belief created probably from the time that you were a child where your teachers told you you were not good enough. Maybe your parents told you you were not good enough. Maybe your friends made you feel like you were not good enough. But that perception and belief is not who you are. It is what has been formed. So sometimes you got to write it. Sometimes I speak to the most successful people, the most successful people, and they feel that they're not good enough. They can't see. They can see what they have, but yet they are controlled by their belief and their mindset. So we got to write this down and we got to rechange that. Okay, I'm not good enough. Do you truly feel that way or have you been made to feel that way? So you got to revisit your childhood, your teenage years, the groups of people you were with, what your parents said to you. You don't have to go out, go out and blame people and complain. No, you got to fix it yourself. Because when you write down and you write down this belief and you really see what you've achieved in your life or what you've done and how you truly feel, you will notice that this belief and this mindset has to change because it is extremely limiting for you. I don't look good. I'm not good enough. I don't look good, I'm ugly, I have a different color, okay? People don't like me. I look in the mirror and I don't like myself. Again, let me give you a simple example, okay? You may be the most good looking person in this world, but if I sit you down and I show you 50 pictures of airbrushed, you know, photoshopped pictures which are shot with the right light to make your aesthetics look good, and I show you 50 pictures of men and women with fabulous bodies and fabulous skin, Okay, you will feel inadequate. These pictures will make you feel ugly if your mindset is one to compare. If, you, if your mindset and your belief system is to judge you and evaluate you by comparing yourself with everyone else, guess what, right now, you are always gonna feel ugly. You are never gonna feel that you're good looking even if you are, because your mindset is one of comparison. So you may look really great, but you will always feel inadequate because the more beauty you see around you, the more inadequate you will feel. So this is a mindset which a lot of us have to work with. A lot of us, a mindset of comparison. Have we built our self-worth in our life by comparing ourselves with people? Is our definition of success based on what the world has defined of success or is it based on what we have? Maybe a little bit of money, a little bit of savings. We're happy, family is great, there's health in the family. We're actually joyful. Are we living according to our definitions and our mindsets of what success is or the world? What social media is telling you? What you're seeing in your friends' families, of your, everything around you? You have to revisit this mindset and belief because it can be so limiting. Some people go through a lifetime believing that they don't look good or believing that if they don't look, let, let's be honest, there may be some people who don't look good. Everyone is different, okay? And they may feel that, self, that, that way about themselves, but they accept it. If it's a limiting belief for you, you will never feel successful in any aspect of your life because you've linked your self-worth with the way that you look, the color of your skin, okay? All of these things. So this is another mindset that you gotta strip down completely, bare naked, and you gotta rebuild it step by step. If you have a mindset of comparison, you are gonna be miserable and nothing is ever gonna be enough for you. The third mindset, I don't have enough of time. This is perhaps the biggest lie that most people tell themselves. I don't have enough of time. And you take these people, you sit them down and you break down 24 hours a day, okay, with them. And you will find that they have three to four to five to six hours excess. You see, our mindsets make us believe that to be successful, we gotta be these jet set people traveling and we don't have time, okay? A busy person doesn't have time. This is a mindset. Some of the most successful people who travel all the time and have built business empires still have time for themselves, for their health, for their families, for their loved ones. But this is a mindset that gets into our mind. The busier you are, the more higher your position is, the less time you have. This is a lie. And most people, when you sit them down and break down their time, you find they have so many time wasters. So many time wasters, unnecessary time wasters in their day. And if they clear that up, they have a lot of time. So again, this is a very limiting, very limiting belief and mindset that you've got to strip down bare naked and recreate it. Because that is a huge myth that you don't have enough of time. So people want sympathy. So they appear that, oh, I travel so much. I have a long job. My boss makes me, whatever it is. There are time wasters in everyone's life. Recreate that belief and that mindset or it could be extremely limiting for you. Like the most limiting thing is, oh Luke, I don't have time for my health. I don't have time for a 30 minute workout. I am the CEO of this company and I don't care who you are. 
you've got to make time for your body. Just because you're the CEO doesn't mean your body is going to support your position. All the more reason you need time for your health and you need time for your exercise and everything else. So these are self-limiting beliefs that have to change. I need to struggle to succeed. It's very sad. There are a lot of beautiful stories on the internet of rags to riches, of people who have had a struggle and then they become millionaires and billionaires and all of that stuff. But a lot of people have also made up some stories like that. You know, sometimes we give that wrong image to our children and everyone else that we need to struggle to succeed. No, you don't have to struggle to succeed always. There are people who have worked smart they have worked hard, they've had discipline in their life, and they've done the right things over and over again, and they've succeeded. But a lot of people are out there with that limiting belief, if I don't struggle, if I don't put myself through this crazy, crazy schedule, I cannot succeed. There are people who have been able to succeed with sacrifice, hard work, passion, everything, but they don't make it look like a struggle. Like the biggest joke and the biggest line is hustle. This latest word that, oh, you gotta hustle to make money. You don't have to hustle to make money. You gotta be disciplined and consistent and calm, okay? You don't have to add struggle, which is a negative, a very, very negative psychological word that you put into your mind. Because with struggle, it gives you that right to omit your health. It gives you that right to skip your workouts. It gives you that right to struggle through life like nothing's working for you. A lot of people who have open minds, who abundantly think, they don't struggle through life. Yes, they go through hardships and sacrifices, but they can succeed without struggling. It's as simple as that. So change that limiting mindset. A lot of upcoming kids today and teenagers believe that they gotta compromise their sleep to succeed. They gotta compromise their life to succeed. They gotta compromise their family to succeed. That is a lie. That is your own belief and that is your own mindset that you've got to do. So strip that down bare naked and recreate it again. Another very limiting belief, this is a very selfish and very limiting belief that other people's success around will make my success less. Okay, we compete, there's healthy competition. But when you start destroying other people, when you start being selfish and you don't allow other people to grow, you keep pulling down other people all the time, you keep doing all of that stuff, you will always be miserable and you will never be successful. That is such a limiting belief that other people cannot succeed with you. There is so much of abundance in the world, abundance for everyone to succeed. You can't spend half your week and half your life pulling down other people, competing with them in unhealthy ways. That is wasted energy and that is a mindset that you gotta strip bare naked and recreate. There is abundance for everyone. There is healthy competition. Today our world is filled with unselfish. There's people trying to bring down one another. The moment someone succeeds, you find ways to pull them down. That is unhealthy for you and it is unhealthy for your success. So strip that bare naked and recreate it. Another one that tends to annoy me now, and we gotta to come to terms with this. My parents didn't do well enough for me. My parents didn't give me enough. My parents were mean. My parents didn't give me education and resources. Let's stop it right there. There is no perfect parent. If you wanna be a perfect parent, you be that perfect parent. No matter what you went through, when you look at success today, no one needed that perfect education to succeed. No one needed all the resources. Stop blaming your parents. The people who are constantly blaming their parents, they do this because it's a subconscious excuse for them to stay where they are. It is an excuse for them not to succeed in life. Most people out there who have succeeded today had the most basic education. They didn't have all the resources. When you look at today's world, half the kids going to all the fancy schools with all the resources, look at their life. Most of them don't succeed. I'm not saying all of them. Most of them. Stop blaming your parents. Your parents were who they could be at that point. We need to change that mindset. We need to understand that we may not have gotten things from our parents, but what we need to do is now make a life of our own. We gotta go back and change that mindset, okay? You didn't get a proper education. You didn't have enough of resources. What can you do now? How will you build your life? Stop staying stuck in victim mode and blaming everyone for things that cannot work in your life. It's as simple as that. Another mindset, I can't get better. Okay, there are deadly diseases, cancer kills, all of that stuff, yes. But have you looked at the amount of people who survive the most deadliest of diseases? Again, if cancer really killed everyone, if deadly diseases really took away everyone's life, why are there survivors in millions? In millions. Again, it's a mindset. 
okay? When we have a mindset that only medicine heals us, okay? Our mindset is shallow. But when we understand that we can harness the intelligence of our own body and there are so many things beyond medicine, which we can do to heal, those are the success stories of all the people who have survived the deadliest of diseases. They change their mindset and they begin to believe that my body will heal me. Today we've been given that mindset that, oh, only a medicine will heal you, a doctor will heal you, a healer will heal you, your spiritual guru will heal you, a nutritionist will heal you. Nope, none of them healed you. They enabled you, but never forget and put this in your mindset that only the human body heals. Only the human body has the intelligence to heal. So strip down that mindset and rebuild it again. The human body has the intelligence to heal. Now what should I give it in order to enable that healing? Medicine, let me take it. Nutrition, let me take it. Spiritual healing, let me take it. But change that mindset. So when it comes to our beliefs and our mindsets, like I said, this is the strip work that you need to do. At some point in our life, all of us have to revisit that. Look at the amount of broken relationships. And when you put two people together and you ask them, what's your belief and mindset of love? Two partners in the same relationship will give you completely different, completely different mindsets and beliefs. So right now, there are two people in a relationship with conflicting beliefs and mindsets of what love or happiness and joy is. Right then you know that that relationship is going to have a lot of conflict. So like I always tell people, the virtual world around us, around us has molded our mindsets and our, belief, and our belief system. And that is virtual. It doesn't have to be real. Sometimes we got to build our own belief and our own mindsets of what joy is, what happiness is, what healing is. We gotta build that based on how we truly feel. Not the way love is defined like in the movies and in the songs and stuff like that. Every human is unique. You know, you may decipher love in 10 different ways from someone else. That's your mindset and belief. And most conflict happens when the mindsets and beliefs do not match. So it is so important for us to reconstruct, strip down bare naked again, your mindset and your belief of what real happiness is to you, not based on what the world sees, not what your friends feel, not what all the relationships on TV show you how they have to be, on how you genuinely feel, how you genuinely want to be treated, appreciated, loved. You define that and you make that your belief and mindset and then you go out there hoping that you will find a match in belief and mindset so that you don't have that much of conflict. So like I said, I'm gonna end it with one really, really simple thing, okay? If you wanna build a better version of yourself today, the first thing you need to do is change and reconstruct your limiting mindsets and your limiting beliefs. There are three other rules. If you wanna be a better version of, this, of yourself right now, you gotta stop having a fear for people judging you. You don't fear how people judge you. That is the first step to being the best version of yourself and the truest version of yourself. The second is you have to understand that there is no certainty in the future. If you're constantly trying to create a certain future for you, okay, you can never live to your full potential. The future is uncertain for everyone. It'll always be that way. What you need to do is build, keep your savings in place, prepare. But if you're constantly trying to live your life according to building a certain future, that doesn't happen. And the third thing is, do not let other people define the definition of success in your life. You define that. When you define that, your vision will become clearer. You will be more connected with your vision because it's according to your real goal, your real life purpose, and what you really need to do. You don't go onto Twitter every day and see who's making money and start following them and imitating them and stuff like that. No, it doesn't work that way. It works according to you being you. So what we really need to do right now before we can even progress in life is work with these limiting beliefs. What is your belief and mindset when it comes to love? when it comes to sex, when it comes to happiness, when it comes to money, when it comes to abundance, when it comes to wealth, when it comes to sickness, when it comes to healing. What are your mindsets? Write down your mindsets and then compare it with the existing mindsets that you have and then you see what you need to change. And that is your exercise for tonight. We cannot progress. Like I said, they're called limiting beliefs and limiting mindsets because they limit every aspect in our life. Before I end, I'll repeat it once more. Most people are already the best versions of themselves, but the only thing dragging them down, the only thing hampering their immense potential, uniqueness and talent that they have in them are their beliefs and their mindsets. 
So to recreate that, we got to strip it down to the bare, 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 bare nakedness of it. And then we got to study it, analyze it, and recreate it. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.